Hi, Bob Greenier here, volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. Okay, so I have been donated this Vivreal, uh, which was sourced by Siert in uh, Holland, and uh, he provided this um, uh, voltage converter, because this is a, an American unit, same as the one that Alan Goldwater used. And I've got it on this uh, sound absorbing mat because I am going to do some uh, frequency studies. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this uh, measuring jug here. And I'm going to put various amounts of water into the uh, bowl of the ultrasonic cleaner. And then I'm going to use this uh, Dodotronic Ultramic 384 kilohertz microphone to capture some audio and that will allow people to uh, see what the spectrum is with various amounts of water placed into the bowl. With the uh, Ultramic here by Dodotronic, it's an Italian company, and uh, this will work at 384 kilohertz. And the software that I'm going to use that with that is USB Audio uh, Pro, your Audio Recorder Pro. Uh, here again, it's a fairly affordable piece of software and allows you to plug in uh, USB microphones and uh, record at higher frequencies than your phone allows. So I have a measuring jug here with a 600 ml of water in it. And I'm going to put about 100 ml in as near a dammit and uh, run it for 90 seconds on the timer here. So first I'm going to put in about 100 ml is not a lot and that if I look at it on a flat surface is just about 20 mil short of 100 mil so it's really not a lot in there uh, so if I don't burn the transducer out by giving it insufficient load uh, it needs a little bit more okay no it's still a little bit more <laughs> Okay, that is about our first 100 mils in there. So I'm going to get the microphone ready and in position. Now this microphone is very sensitive, so I might have to pull it out of frame to uh, make the recording. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to set a recording now. So I'm going to hit the record button. A little bit difficult with all these things. So. Uh, one record button, so it's recording. Ah, oh, you can see me speaking, and I'm going to set this off. I can already see that's completely saturating, so I need to muffle this microphone a little bit. Uh, we can see that's completely saturated. I'm going to move the microphone away. Yeah, it's very intense sound in the ultrasonics. Actually, very, very intense. So, just like I did when we were looking at the uh, Amaza vibrator, I had to put some bubble wrap over to muffle the sensitivity of the mic. And uh, I've done it here, and we'll see how this works. So I'm going to uh, set another 90 second period, and I will set this off, and we will see what it does. Okay, so it's still saturating, but if I bring, okay, there we go. So if I bring it over here, it's not oversaturating. If I turn it to it, yeah, if I get it too close, even still, it's oversaturated. But so I'm going to hold it somewhere like this and make a recording for this 100 mil level. I'm going to try and keep it uh, between the camera and the, about midway between, uh, a little bit closer. Here, here it looks good, somewhere there, I'm actually with the phone in the way. Okay, so get it too close, it's saturating, so about an inch from the edge of the uh, ultrasonic tank seems to work. So that's what I'm going to record. I'm going to record about 10 seconds of that. And 
The purpose of doing this is to see if there's any change in frequency response of the ultrasonic uh, cleaning tank as the load water increases. Okay, we're about 10 mil off. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now I'm going to add another 100 mil approximately. Uh, we need another 25. Okay, so we now have 300 mil in there. Set this for 90 seconds. And start the recording. So this is the 300 mil sample. Adding the last bit of water for the 400 ml test. Okay, that's 400 mil. I am going to. Now I'm going to add the water to make this up to 500 milliliters. There we have it. So this is the 500 milliliter test. Okay, adding the water for 600 milliliters, which is in fact the rest of the water. And that takes it up to the maximum limit. So you can see maybe over on the other side here, there's a maximum point, so that's a 600 mil. So this will be for the 600 milliliter limit of the Vibriel ultrasonic cleaner. <laughs> Okay, that was the 600 mil, and I have to say it was much quieter than at about 200 or 300. There was different volumes and intensities of the ear piercing noises, which would be in my audio frequency range uh, at different levels. So it does make a huge difference to the frequencies that are at least expressed as far as I can hear in the ear 
we can have a look at the recordings and see what the truth is there. So I'm just going to do another few seconds of that onto the higher frequency recording. So here you can see that in, when we're doing it like this, the saturation level is much, much lower. In fact, I'm going to take off the cover and see if that, that will actually... Okay, it's still too much without the cover. I'm going to move this away from the device. Yeah, it's still too sensitive. So that was the 600mm. Thank you for your time. The actual uh, recording will be listed in the Ultra um, Live document. So you'll be able to look at those and analyze them. Thank you very much. So here is some frequency analysis. And because we are running at 384 kilohertz, we can resolve 192 kilohertz. And as we go across the depths, you can see that it is very, very different 